Casa de Shane. Casa de Shane. My old pal Shane has been dying to show me his personal collection of way cool cars. And today, he picked me up in his gorgeous 1933 Ford Roadster. Shane has excellent taste, and I'm hoping that he just might have something sweet that I might be able to add to my collection. What are you hiding here in the garage, man? We got a 57 Chevy. Exactly. And a 39 Chevy. What's up with you hiding all these beautiful cars? Let's see the uh, real gym. Welcome to Manland. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude, right? this is sick. 32 Ford, three window. Obviously very chopped top coupe, channeled. Channeled. Channeled over the frame, chopped. Yep. What? Tell me about this engine, man. 468 cubic inch. Is that an 871 on 871 top? 871 blower, dual four barrels, 750 horse. That is sick. I love it. You got Thank great you. taste, man. <laughs> you got great taste. Oh. Oh my gosh, man. Henry J. Bro, seriously? What year? 53. 50. Introduced in 1950, the Henry J stands out as a classic car, but it was originally built to be affordable to the average American. Sadly, Henry J's never really caught on, but gasser lovers decided to make it one of their own. Its sleek body design and sexy curves made him an instant standout on the hot rod circuit. No denying the Henry J is a thing of beauty. You know who sold these originally? Who? Sears and Roebuck. How crazy is that? I know. We got in the hood. Keep black. Small block. Seriously? Can I see it? Yeah. <laughs> An old 60 drag racer. So it's oh, got the old school yeah. Mickey Thompsons. I love it. This car will get up and rock. The uh, front's just full suspension. The back is on bags. Nice. So oh, you can either cruise yeah. or launch. Oh, man. It's a tight package. They're light. It's a short wheelbase. I mean, this is a little hot rodder's dream right here. 